Hello there, you're welcome to another tutorial on SC Toots. I'm going to show you how to make really, really good Ama Piano Lock Drum Patterns in FL Studio. Now, these steps I'm going to show you are really easy to follow and you can mess it up even if you try. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. All right, so we have our drums and our um, shaker loop and a simple chord progression. Let's listen to it and see how it sounds. Now that sounds really good. It's still really simple. Nothing much has been done to the beats, all right? So we're going to be using um, Lock Drum that is from FL Studio DX10. And if, if you want to find it, just right click um, uh, an empty um, clip, right? And go to Insert, and then you come to um, FL Fruity DX10. It's a stock plugin. It's not a third party plugin. And it comes with, I think, all versions of FL Studio. So when you get it, you're going to look for the presets, right? Click the presets. You're going to see um, lock drum somewhere at the bottom. You can just hit L on your keyboard and it's going to just take you straight to the lock drum pattern, um, lock drum sample, okay? And when you play it back, really, really clean, straightforward to use and simple to use, right? So now let's see how we can make our lock drum patterns, okay? First thing, we need to make sure we follow our chord progression. And this is our chord progression right here. So we're going to copy the chords, right click here, copy and paste it in the sampler. And if you don't have a sampler on your channel, you can simply right click, go to insert, and then you see sampler right here. Just press S on your keyboard and you can see sampler right here. You can insert it, okay? So we're going to paste it right here. And since lock drum is a base element, so that means it's going to really shine within the fourth between the third, fourth, and the fifth octave, okay? So, so this is F5, means it's on the fifth octave already. So we're going to um, select this, shift this, right? And then have this, this now is at the fourth octave, and then have the same at the um, third octave, okay? Because we're going, because we may need to go really, really low, and you see why shortly, okay? So now, the next we're going to do is, we're going to follow the bass note of our chord. So this is it. This and then this F, right? Then um, A, A. Then it goes back to E. Okay. So we're going to select this, select this, select this, right? And then we're going to copy it. Okay. Then we're going to paste it. Um, go to piano roll. Then paste it right here. You can see how it matches the progression, right? But this is not where it ends, okay? So now that we've found out the bass notes that make up the chord, now we need to break it up into patterns that have rhythm, okay? So one of the easiest ways to find rhythm for your lock drum is to avoid it sitting, there, sitting on the kick drum itself. Right, you can have it just after the kick drum or just before the kick drum or anywhere in between, but just make sure it's before or after the kick drum. For example, see how it sounds versus you can notice that little difference, right? So that alone can make a, a major difference in your bounce, right? So we're going to um, have this, reduce this a bit. Right, then have this again. So you can see this is already, it's already getting more interesting. So let's break it up into more patterns, right? And if you're a beginner in making melodies, because log drums are also quite melodic, right? I recommend you stick within four notes that make up the chord progression, right? For example, we have Let's assume we split this chord into two, right? So that means we're going to have at most four notes here, then four notes here, then four notes here, then four notes here. It could be less, right? But it should not exceed four notes, okay? So let's see. Remember, this is the line for the chord F5, okay? So we can, remember I said we should just try and avoid the, um, the kick. We don't want that. We want something like this. Or, or, and 
any any of that is fine, but as long as you avoid hitting the kick. But let's see this. Then let's have now we have, we use just three notes for now. Then let's make another. Then let's have some here again. Does it always have to be longer or short? So we can adjust this as we move, right? But for now, we're just trying to get the, the rhythm. Right? So we're just trying to get the rhythm. So it, it really doesn't matter. We can always adjust the rhythm as we progress. So you can see now we already have something that is quite rhythmic. So now let's make it a bit melodic, okay? And when we're trying to create melodies, we also don't want it to sound overly melodic, right? We want to keep it really, really simple. And we can play within any of the gray lines, right? So if let's say um, I'm here, right, I could reference a gray note from the other chords and place it there, okay? So let's say we have this, for example. Or let's use this. And let's see how this will sound here. Oh, let's have it here. So now let's keep it really simple. We have a really nice melodic and rhythmic um, lock drum. So we can take it down to a lower octave, okay? And now there are some things you can do to spice up your log drum by introducing log drum rolls, like the grrr sound you hear in um in log drums, okay? So, so we can introduce that before this guy right here. No, let's use this notes because we're supposed to restrict ourselves to four notes, right? Let's say tools. We'll come to this drop down icon right here, then go to tools, then come to chop. Let's see. Let's, it may not sound like much when I take it down to a lot of octaves. Here it sounds. Then I'm going to chop this up as well. I'm going to come to tools, chop. Then this will be tinier. And the longer your note is, the longer the sustain. So let's take it down to a lower octave. See now we have a really nice sounding um, log drum sound. Let's see if we take it even lower. Let's see how it will sound. Let's take these guys up here. Now it's sounding more and more like the log drum sound, right? So, and if it's not loud enough, you can just link it to the mixer. Control L or Command L, then you can add compressor. Just the only thing you need to touch on the compressor is the gain knob. Here we can adjust this play with this a little bit by making it sound like it's sliding in. Then do the same here again as well. So now we have a really good sounding lock drum pattern and I hope it helps you make much better lock drums for your Amapiano or Afro beats, right? 
And if you found this helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so other people that need this video can easily find it right here on YouTube. And hit the subscribe button for more helpful videos like this. Cheers.